They are creating a whole ton of compost tea on this farm. It's pretty amazing. I've been looking around here, looking at microscopes and all that stuff. JM is going to talk about what they're doing with this stuff and um, what the plan is. Okay, so I'm, I'm you know, uh, you were asking me about the experimental part of the farm. That's one of it. Now we're brewing compost tea and uh, we're going to start to do tests here on the farm to see is it making a difference, what kind of difference is it making, whatever. And, but we're doing it the right way, so we're brewing this for weeks and we have material that was bought just for that. We also have some, what's the word for that? Uh, Microscope. Microscopes. And we're pretty much in line with what uh, Ellen Ingham is teaching us about life, how to look for nematodes, making sure that the, you know, the multiplication of the microbial life is really where it needs to be in the composting. So we're checking out the, the uh, binoculars. Not the binoculars, the, the microscope. microscope. Look up in French. And uh, so we're going to start to do this this fall on all of the green manures. And so we're going to be testing field blocks with it, field blocks without it. Because there's a lot of hype about composting, and rightfully so, I think. But we just want to get real data for us. To, because there's an expense in time to do this and in material to get it going. Uh, but yeah, that's one thing that we're looking into this this year. So I saw the guy spraying over there. Yeah. So it looked like you laid down a bunch of compost, planted it with the fall rye, and then he sprayed. Yeah. It. Yeah. We're trying to trigger the growth of the microbial life inside the soil by spraying. So it all has to do with living soils, and that's why we also do ram ramule wood chip. So we're trying to create soils that are really, really vibrant and alive because that's what creates the fertility inside the soil. And so a lot of experiments going that way, and uh, yeah.